Leavenworth, Washington is known for its holiday decorations and lights that turn the city into a magical Christmas wonderland every year in December. In this fun Bavarian-inspired village, you can walk the snow-lined streets, go on a sleigh ride, and indulge in mouth-watering gingerbread cookies. Join us as we spend two days exploring a town that feels right out of a Hallmark movie, and hopefully it gets you in the holiday spirit. Let's jump into it. While Leavenworth seems like it's a different world, it's actually only a two hour drive from Seattle. You have to keep the passes in mind when traveling in the winter as they can close or require chains. I'll leave a link to the up-to-date conditions in the description. We made it to Leavenworth and one of the reasons why we're here is that Pop's bucket list is to go on a sleigh ride. We're gonna do that tomorrow and look, there's snow so I think it's gonna be a good sleigh ride but more exploring in the town first. We brought the whole family for this adventure, including my mom and dad and my sister, brother-in-law, and their kids. There's the snow right there. There's yeah. the snow right there. We found it. Since we're from California and we hardly ever see the snow, that was the main highlight when we got there. Wow, this is a cool downtown right here. Our first order of business was to head to the Danish bakery and try the soft pretzels and other treats. Needless to say, everyone was pretty excited as we had been in the car for almost three hours. This is one of my favorite desserts. It's a Bavarian waffle. It's got like a crunchy, flaky, uh, sweet crust. And then there's cream and jam inside. Let me have some. Mm -mm. I like it. After indulging in all the baked goods, it was back out on the street to play with the snow and explore some more. Nobody has any uh, desire to do anything other than play with snow, which I don't blame them, so I'm gonna go into the Nutcracker Museum. The Nutcracker Museum is one of the most popular attractions in Leavenworth. It was created in 1995 and it has over 9,000 Nutcrackers in it. It cost $5 to enter when we went and no video was allowed inside, only photos. It's a quirky spot that's well worth the visit and some of the Nutcrackers in there are over a thousand years old. Meeting up with the crew who is going sledding in the park. After a good snow, the small hill at Front Street Park becomes a meetup for everybody and their sleds to have a winter adventure. All right, my turn. I hope I don't take out any small children. While there were still some dirt patches, there were enough snowy runs for everybody in the family who wanted to, to give it a try. Yeah! <laughs> There's just something magical about being below a candy cane lit Christmas tree doing some sledding. What are you doing? <laughs> I've only been here for an hour and I'm already fully in. This place is awesome. <laughs> I do want to note I talked to a few locals that said if you come on a weekend in December, it's not like this. It's packed with people and it's hard to find parking. So come on a weekday if you can. Right next to where we were playing, there was a shop that sold chestnuts roasted on open fire. None of us had ever had that before, so we had to try it. So it comes like this, and then you peel it off, and then it's got this underneath. And that's, that's the, the part, part that you, you eat? eat? The yeah. chestnut. This. Interesting, a little oily, a bit dry. Yeah, what? how would you, you try explain it? Roasted chestnut, oh, since you already opened it for me? Yeah. Hopefully there's not the extra shell on these. Ooh, it's actually kind of chewy. Not bad. Leavenworth is so awesome. We're gonna go check into the Airbnb we got and then come back and explore more later. For a little bit of help with planning your visit, there are actually multiple ways to get to the city during the winter. First, you can go over the pass like I mentioned, and second, you can actually take the train in. If you take the train in, it's probably best to get a hotel in the downtown area, but if you drive in, there's lots of great Airbnbs within five to 10 minutes of the city. We have 10 people here, so we got this great deal on an Airbnb because it's in the beginning of the Christmas season and it's on a weekday. There's a hot tub on both levels. I mean, and look at this view out here. It's just, it's just perfect. Like I can't even imagine a better time to be here. The first thing you do when you get to an Airbnb is you put Pops to work. Right. Since uh, we said he already had a bum knee and then I come out here and he's shoveling snow, so. Like in the old days, used to do this. <laughs> I don't mind. And look at these views. Back down in Leavenworth to get dinner. What do you think, Pops? This is an amazing spot. You really do get the Christmas vibe. I love the lights, how they reflect off the snow. It's just a beautiful spot. 
When we arrived back in the city at night, it was even more magical than during the day. There were countless Christmas lights on all of the trees and buildings. There were carolers roaming the streets. It was just something special to see. I know I'm just excited, but I think it's the snow. This place literally feels like exactly what a Christmas town should be. It's perfect. It's, it's so cool right now. For dinner, we walked five minutes down Front Street to Munchen House, which is widely regarded as one of the best spots in the city. This open air restaurant has fun seating next to the fire, dozens of different sausages, and at least double the amount of toppings you can use. I believe they had 14 mustards when we were there, lots of other different sauces, and sauerkraut. Honestly, it's the best kind of choose your own food adventure, and if you make something you don't like, it's basically just on you. Classic number one <laughs> with cheese, and they have this apple cider sauerkraut. Kraut, sauerkraut. Definitely worth the price of admission. The sausage is not like powerfully spicy, so anything you add to it just really brings it out. So, we had no wait on a weekday, but I've heard from multiple people that if you come on a busy weekend, you could have an hour or two wait just to eat here. Perfect way to end our first night with those sausages. And now we are heading home and tomorrow we're going on a sleigh ride. I do have to say that if you're not traveling with kids or you have someone to watch them, then Icicle Brewing Company is a great way to end the night. We had the grandparents there, so we headed over after the kids were asleep and tried a few of their beers. Plus the spot is just really cool as well as there's three stories and it's very open. All right, that's it for our first day, on to day two. Our morning started pretty perfect with deer walking through the pasture when we woke up and low hanging clouds making for an epic and dramatic snowy scene. My sister baked and brought breakfast for all of us so I went out to Argonaut Coffee to get everybody something to drink. I went to a few different coffee shops in Leavenworth but this was probably my favorite. If you're hungry I recommend you get a biscuit as well, I really liked the savory one with butter and salt on it. We're about to go on a sleigh ride, baby. Here we go. Look at this location. Could it be a better spot for a sleigh ride than this? You know, this spot is amazing. Maybe that's why they say this is one of the top places in the country to go for a sleigh ride, because you just look around and it's obvious this is one of the best places. It is unbeatable. I'm excited. All right, if you want to do a sleigh ride in Leavenworth, you have to figure this out in advance. I got on about a month and a half before our trip, only to realize that most every sleigh ride company was sold out on the day that we were there. Luckily, I was able to find one on the outskirts of town, which ended up being a great option. We booked the private sleigh since we had 10 people, and then we made the 20 minute drive out of town to Eagle Creek Ranch. Get a snowball and throw it at Pop. What? Oh, what? You got me! <laughs> After getting introduced to our horses, Rocky and Samson, making sure the sled rails weren't stuck to the ice, we got blankets and then we headed out. The tour we booked was 30 minutes and it took us all around the back property of the ranch. I know I've said this multiple times, but it was a pretty magical experience just being able to glide over the snow and enjoy this beautiful part of the country. This is pretty epic, yeah, pretty amazing. I especially loved how relaxed the experience was. We didn't go very fast, we just trotted along and our guide told us all about the ranch, the horses, and sleigh rides in general. If you've watched some of the other videos, you know my dad loves to sing, so about halfway through the ride, he requested that we all start singing. Jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey! Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey! <laughs> I say it is so beautiful here with the fog on the hills and coming up on this barn with the smoke coming out the chimney and just incredibly beautiful. <laughs> just listening to Pop's beautiful song. Come on, it's lovely weather for us. What's up, buddy? What's up? As you can no doubt tell, we had a blast on this ride and I'm sure it's a core memory that my family will remember for a long time. 
I probably could have made a 10 minute video just on this ride as it was so beautiful for us. The weather was nice and the rain stopped for a little bit and it just became one of those perfect times. Here's just a couple more clips to end our sleigh ride. After we made it back, our guide allowed us to walk in the front and interact with the horses a little bit, and then there was hot chocolate and hot apple cider that you could have in the barn. I have hostels everything you wanted, completing your bucket list. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, in the, I mean, it'd be one thing to do a sleigh ride. It'd be something else to do a sleigh ride on a morning like this. Just incredible with the fog and the snow. Just amazing, just amazing. Two thumbs up? Two thumbs up. <laughs> All right, say bye to the sled ride about 20 minutes back into town for lunch. Can you even believe how beautiful this 20 minute drive is back into town as well? Dropped everybody off at the pedestrian area and we are walking downtown to get some food at the gingerbread factory. If you come here on a busy day, know that this is one of the most loved spots and that the line can be all the way out to here. The Gingerbread Factory has been a staple of Leavenworth since 1988. They sell many of their cookies, cakes, and gingerbread houses online, so you can always buy them on there if you want to try them. I have to say the pastries here are next level. The ginger snap cookies were so good that I ordered two of them, and then I went back up and I ordered two more. That is really good ginger snap cookies. <laughs> We also got lunch here, and next time we would probably skip that, but definitely come for the pastries. You can't visit the city without trying them. While we're waiting for food, we're gonna check out a few shops, which is another thing that people love doing when they visit here. Leavenworth has a lot of the places you'd expect, like gift shops with different souvenirs. There's an awesome cheese shop, there's a coffee shop, there's places where you can get wine. It's what you'd expect from a town like this, but it's definitely fun if you're looking for a unique gift. So I waited to book a ticket for the Leavenworth Reindeer Farm and there was only two tickets left for today. So look who's coming with me, Hi, my mom. Guys. Also of all the people that could go, even my kids, my mom was definitely the most excited. <laughs> the Leavenworth Reindeer Farm is probably the most visited attraction in the city. I didn't realize how quickly tickets booked up for this one as well. So be sure to get them in advance if you're coming and you have a bigger group. While you're waiting for your tour, you can take pictures with Santa, you can grab a drink at the food truck, or you can walk through the big barn that has all sorts of different items for purchase. On their website, it says this is the world's largest reindeer themed gift shop, and I wouldn't argue with that. When it was time for our experience to begin, our guide ushered us over to the pavilion to start the tour. Check it out, we saw our first reindeer. They're not a very lively bunch. The first part of the tour is about 20 minutes talking about the reindeer, giving you different facts on them, and letting you touch the antlers. I will say that I'm glad my kids weren't here for this as it would have been a little bit boring for them, but I get how they have to stagger the different groups going into the pen. After the talk, we got our food and we were ushered into the pen to meet and interact with the reindeer. I didn't know what to expect, but this is an incredibly fun experience. The reindeer were super friendly, especially when you had food, and they were wandering around looking for different people to interact with. I will say it's pretty crazy to navigate their massive antlers when they're walking around or when they're leaning down as it gets close to your face and your eyes. If you come with small children, they have a different pen that they're in with smaller reindeer that don't have the long antlers. There are probably 30 of them in with us though, and half of them were sitting down. You don't try to feed them if they're sitting down. All right, this is a pretty cool experience, being able to just hang out, walk around, interact with them, feed them. It's fun. Yeah, I had no idea that reindeer wouldn't be aggressive. I mean, they said that they never run into people. They well, don't that one's coming them. for you. They're coming for you, Mom. Watch out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't have any food for you, buddy. I'm sorry. You want to sniff my hand? I said they're not aggressive. They don't kick. And I was so very surprised we could just get this close to them. Well, as she says they're not aggressive, there's two reindeer fighting right there. <laughs> I will say the staff here was great. You could tell that they loved their animals and they were really engaged with you as you were walking around and having the experience. The reindeer have realized that we don't have any food and they're uh, over there waiting for the next group to come in. 
I was a little bit worried by the talking part at the beginning. That was pretty long for, for children, but once you got in there and were interacting with the reindeer, that was very fun. Hopefully the kids are awake now and we can do a few more things in Leavenworth before ending the video. All right, we are back in downtown Leavenworth for our last night in the city. We're gonna go play with the lights with the kids. It's gonna be a fun way to end. It gets dark at around 4.30 this time of year, so it was fun to be able to pick up the kids and to take them downtown before it was too late in the night. What color is it? Purple. Whose favorite is that? Mine. The way the lights light up the street and reflect off the snow and the rain, it's just something I'll never forget and the perfect way to spend the Christmas season. I like it. <laughs> this is so much fun. Oh, I'm so glad. Amy's going to hit that sledding hill right now. You can look at the webcam online to see what the current conditions were like, but basically the day after we left, this was all dirt and you couldn't sled down this hill. A little anticlimactic, but <laughs> fun since I haven't done it since I was like 19. <laughs> <laughs> to end the night, everybody decided they wanted sausages again, so we started the five minute walk down Front Street, stopping at all of the different puddles that we could jump into. We like the sausages so much, we're going back for round two. Makes sense really. So good. Luckily there was no wait again on a Wednesday at about 5 p.m. and we were able to order and find a spot. We all got the same thing as we did the previous night as nobody wanted to fix what wasn't broken. Hamburger. <laughs> okay, close enough. What do you got, Sunny? A hamburger too? Okay, awesome. We also added on the German pretzel this time, which was another great addition. I agree, this is my second time here. I don't think I could come to Leavenworth and not eat this at least once, maybe twice. After devouring our sausages, the last order of business was just to experience the lights and to try a famous ice cream shop. Our last stop in the city is Whistle Punk Ice Cream, which came highly recommended, so we're all gonna share a scoop. I said we were only gonna try a scoop, but everybody decided that they wanted their own, and luckily they had a sampler that let us pick four different flavors. Is it good? I will say it was a pretty great ice cream shop. My favorite was definitely the caramel apple pie one, and luckily we were able to get the spot by the window, which made it so that we could look at the lights while we were eating our ice cream. All right, that's it for our time in Leavenworth. I have to say this is the most magical Christmas city ever. Hopefully you guys had fun. We'll see you on the next one. You say bye? Bye. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed watching this video as much as we enjoyed making it, and be sure to let me know if you know of other Christmas towns like this in the comments. I would love to go to something like this again next year as we had such a blast here. Thanks for watching, we'll see you on the next one.